Gary Pye here. Uh, I'm a little bit excited today. I sat down this morning and decided to really try and sink my teeth into Cartoon Animator's new hand puppet toolkit. And to be perfectly honest with you, I usually take a lot longer than everybody else to work out how to use this sort of stuff. With new things, I, I'm not real good at new stuff. So I thought I'd sit down and I'd have a go at it. And I gotta tell you, for creating random movement of things, it's, it's fantastic. That's as much as I've explored at the moment. But if you wanna animate things like uh, trees, grass, um, on a coral reef, sort of seaweed sort of things just, just in the air. To try and keyframe it is going to take a lot of time and I, I'm, I'm not really sure how good the results would be. But with the uh, Hand Puppet Toolkit, with your hands, you can do the gestures and animate it. And I'm going to show you just how cool it is. So with our Leap Motion Controller on the table and calibrated for our hands, ready to go, we move across to Cartoon Animator, where we've got our Silver Grass hand puppet loaded to stage mode. We open the Motion Live 2D and select Hand Motion Controller, and we need to load the JSON file for the Silver Grass hand puppet. To preview it, we just hit the space bar on the keyboard, and then we can control the seagrass movement in real time with our hands. Whether you want to do it nice and slow, whether you want to do it fast, entirely up to you. But this takes all the keyframing out of the animation. Plus, it has the added advantage of making your animations randomized. So each time you do this, it'll look completely different. And that's one of the things I love about this so much. So as you can see, the Hand Puppet Toolkit is going to speed up your animation plus give you the added advantage of making some of your animations appear to be a lot more random each time you do them. And it's kind of fun.